Silver Rise, <laughs> real deal. We already rolling. Hey. We already rolling. Silver Rise, we already rolling, baby. <laughs> So I let these rhymes uncoil. Cage a hoodie never foils. My current observation this nation, land of the free under certain stipulations. Spread the false allegations. These implications can last many generations. Break away from the fluoridation. What's up, G? Man, how you doing, bro? Man, 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 you Living life, man. How you doing, man? Man, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm geeked up about this one. For <laughs> real, good, bro. Man. I'm glad to hear that, man. man I'm, this... I'm so mad. I'm excited, too. So. <laughs> I so that we here, man. <laughs> hey, man, if y'all don't know, I can take my hat off, bro. It's hot as shit. That it quick money, bro. Here, like, man. it just, but I ain't gonna lie. When I went out here this morning, it wasn't that hot. And I came over to the west side. I feel like 20 more degrees just, just hit my ass, boy. Yeah, man. It's the humidity out here. God bro. damn. I got this right here for a B-cam. This, this is actually your vision. So you can do whatever the fuck you want to do with that. Right. I'm trying something new. Already rolling and welcome back to the first ever Silver Rise in 2021, bro. Hey. Dead ass. I appreciate you, my guy. Yeah, man, I feel blessed. That's, that's dope. <laughs> first one in 2021. Hey. We back on the road. On the road Fuck COVID. Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it, bro. And I, you know, I'm not going to I'm not gonna lie and sit up here and say I don't try to my best to do my, my, my best and my part. I do my, I do my part, but I do still, my part, but damn, bro. Fucking up everything. We've been oh, damn shit. bad a whole year, dog. <laughs> A dope ass artist. I, I'm not gonna put you in a bubble because you even don't put yourself in a bubble for. I try not. That's I good. Appreciate that you noticed that. <laughs> yeah, bro. Cause no, for real, you got your hat and a lot of shit. Like it's being like, an artist is just it's a, it's like a word that's just everyone using nowadays. But you really do live that shit. Videography, you know what I'm saying? Photography and putting your mind in music. What was that? The first thing for you to let you know hey bruh i could do a lot of shit and, and you know what i'm saying like what was it for you man i don't even that's a great question man like i gotta really think i feel like music it, it was always something i grew up around okay uh my stepdad was he was a musician okay he played instruments and he also had a studio in his basement recorded music i remember listening to his music growing up Okay. And I was really inspired by just the independent artists and be laying low but making greatness, you know? Hell yeah. But uh, from there, I, I realized I could, you as long as you have the resources, you can use them and mm -hmm. you can you can do with what you want. And it'll it'll help everyone. It'll help your whole environment. It'll help you. You can expand outwards. It's it's beautiful actually how it works. Hell yeah. But. It's a, it's a long process to get to that point, to have that faith in yourself. Like I actually just, I was manager for a couple of years, like on a couple of different jobs. Okay. But I just left corporation jobs just to <laughs> become a full-time artist. Man. Like a, that was Respect. like a couple, two months ago. Respect. So I appreciate it, man. I'm really on the grind right now. So that's a big so leap a of, of content. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Big yeah, leap yeah. Of faith. It's, it's huge, it's huge. You gotta have huge faith in yourself. I keep flipping this. Cause I know it looked funny one time, but if it's, I can see it off the mirror, so we all good. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but I like how you had that mind, bro, because a lot of people just keeping it real, man. In today's world, we don't really have that kind of people like that that want to help out or show people mm -hmm. that there's always some, some, some hidden hidden meaning or something, yeah, man. It's, yeah. not, it's, not, it's nothing like that around here, man. All my people, we got, we, we just focus, man. We trying to make something of ourselves. Like, it's like, People can help. It's, it's not a crabs and bucket, buck Ooh. barrel 
mentality. Ooh, you know, we not we not with that. So we trying to help. <laughs> hey, and that's what's so funny, man. People, they don't they like, like that shit out there so many times, bro. Growing up in the south, I know exactly how to see that shit. Mm -hmm. Crabbing, mm -hmm. bro. They would literally pull the motherfucker down, just and they, they all, see him going for it. They like, all about bro, to get eight, though, right? Wait, just, <laughs> just fuck it. We can do this together, yo. We can eat them together. Like, yeah. what's up? Yeah. <laughs> man, it's that right. simple, man. This, this gonna be real cool, man. Cause your name, it already interests me. And I feel like that right there is what will captivate towards a lot of people just off the rip names or the way someone looks. But your name definitely is like, hmm. That's the first time I heard that. That, that resonates with me. Yeah, bro. So give me the origin story. I got to know since you have a cool ass name, <laughs> what, what's the backstory to how that name became you? So, so first let me start with when I started making beats. Because before I rapped, I made beats. Yeah. I was I was I was around 12 years old when I started making beats and I went by the name Mir and it just means peace and that's from I'm biracial I'm black and white yeah my white side of the family is Czechoslovakian and okay that was for Czechoslovakian that, that's what it means peace okay. so that's where I got Mir and then KJ Hoodie my real name is KJ I have a very long name <laughs> my, my, Kenneth my actual name, okay. but I'm a junior. That's where the J comes from. Okay. So I wanted to do something with that, keep it real a little bit, have yeah. my name still in there. So I did some research, found something that resonated with me. Uh, there's an Egyptian god. I was going through a phase back in the back when I was a youngin, Go looking ahead, through G. some things. <laughs> and he's a uh, god of scripture. Okay. Writes a lot, which is definitely when I it's my favorite process of making music. Writing? It's writing for sure. Okay. It's like a puzzle to me and I love to just solve it. It's the only type of puzzles I do. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> but um he he taught the people he supposedly was from like Atlantis. He taught okay. the Egyptians like math and sacred geometry and stuff. Yeah. So it's pretty cool. But that has, you know, the writing part is what more res resonated with me. And I'm gonna definitely do some little artworks with Jehudi, his actual Image okay, because he is a he has a, his own image. I'm gonna be looking forward to that, bro. Because oh, you, yeah, you just educated me with a lot of shit right there. I never even knew that. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's a lot behind it, but you know, I'm glad it captivates people. I wanted something original. That was just the main goal. I didn't want something that you know all these. I don't even. Want, I don't. I don't want to push down no one, but. Hey. You, know, you know, I only gotta say it. Hey no, man, I'm gonna say it for already. you. I'm gonna say it for you because I know exactly what you're doing, bro. It's right. You being you being politically correct at the same time. Fuck that. I'm gonna say it for all the littles out here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he, yeah, he just for said all it. All the littles. You know, I know y'all was thinking it too. So. Babies. You know what I mean? <laughs> and ain't got it, too many of them. It's just a lot of them. I, I just be like original, them. man. Because y'all get lost in the in the pool of people like that. Like I feel that. It's hard. To, it's hard to stand out already. So yeah. make yourself stand out, man. Perfect for it, man. Especially more black podcasts. Yeah. It's not, it's not enough. They're doing music too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even gotta say. I don't even gotta go that into it. I feel. Nah, I, I fuck with that, bro. Who was the first show that you remember doing yourself? Uh, putting it together myself. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Kama Roots. Okay. It's a little uh venue off of Paiso and Paiso. Um, it's really nice people. We definitely did a tribute for my my homie that passed. He made music. He was also an inspiration to me. What's That's his who name my uh, Swank, Swank was his was uh, Nathaniel Swank was his actual name, okay. his rap name. Okay. Uh, Steez was from Pro Era. Okay. That's so you probably saw it on my Instagram. Yeah, 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 yeah. Check him out, man. If you don't know about Steez, he's I don't, a great man. artist, man. I was literally going to ask. I have a whole segment towards him because I saw that you had consistently posted every year from his anniversary of his death. Yeah. And um, I did. I, I was doing that for a while. I, I slowed it down, but just just for the feed purposes. Yeah. You know, I, he definitely tribute. He he's definitely inspiration for me. He showed me that you know you can you can talk about whatever you want like it. A lot of artists didn't show me that in the beginning. Like I definitely listened to a lot of what was playing on the radio as well. And then I found him from Pro Era, Joey Badass and all of them. Okay. And he was definitely real influential on just how to, I voice myself and how I carry myself for sure. But I was always molded by my environment already. I'm actually from Georgia. That's where I was born and raised partly. I grew up there and here. 
So that, that definitely shaped who I am also. Bro, we some southern kids in Cincinnati, dog. Oh yeah, yeah. And I have it's so it's so it's so crazy. I, I meet a lot of south, southern kids up here, man. Mm -hmm. Cincinnati is like a it's like a hub of people that just move here. It's a big melting pot. Bro. Yeah, for sure. For sure. For sure. And that's we, what makes art, the artists here crazy, man. I always tell people that get in the whip, it's like the first time I don't want people to think I'm kidnapping them. I, this is the uh, oh. the part of the show. <laughs> it's called the, uh, the smoke break, basically, since we started smoking on earlier, which I, I do not mind at all. You know what I'm saying? My bad, yeah, that's just my habit. Go, yeah, do that shit, bro. We post up, we look at the city, and we just, you know what I'm saying, this is what we do most of the Definitely beautiful. Talking. So yes, sir. We about to post up, and we about to get this park, bro. Like Cincinnati in the back. Break! This is Cisco eating. She likes to eat. A lot. This had nothing to do with the video, but it did give you time to subscribe. So go ahead and do that while she continued to chow down on her meal. Right! Uh, we already rolling back, back and cracking, like, you know what I'm saying? Like my cousin would say back, like, cook crack in the 80s. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I got cake. Oh, stove. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> But we get to some questions because you know this is just not just a pod and niggas smoking and shit. We do like to ask questions on the show. Yes, sir. Um, what was the golden era of music to you? Like you yourself, you know me personally is the West Coast '90s. So what was it for you? I would New York. New York has always been holding it down, man. Okay. I, I would say this your water West water. Coast always been doing its thing, but I feel like. New York has always been a melting pot also. So it's just a larger melting pot than Cincinnati, you know? So a lot of people like Jamaicans, Haitians, they all go there. It's a, a lot of artists I listen to, like, uh, you know, first of all, we start with Biggie, when he was Haitian. Um, Jamaican. Uh, well, thank you. <laughs> I got you. Um, dang, what's the name? Uh, I just did this song off from them. My song opened it's, I sampled that. I oh, just track. heard it. About the pavement, but when your sound hits the pavement, hope you paved the way to not cave in. Masquerading like some cavemen, won't conform to layman's. I'm out in conversation unless they contemplate and awake. No, the stakes are related, so I thank the creator, but I ain't said no. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, what did I say? Black Moon. Black okay. Moon from yep, New so. York. <laughs> They're definitely nasty, man. Okay, okay. Uh, a lot of them, you know. Lauren Hills out there. Okay. Every everyone, all the artists go there. Like you know, it's always either you going to the West Coast or you going to the East Coast. Mm -hmm. So that's why we trying to start something here, man. <laughs> we try to we in the middle, we in the Midwest apparently. Yeah. <laughs> right though. <laughs> Good way of putting it though, cause bro, I was so confused. I'm like, As I'm looking kid, on the like, map. What? I'm like, at the West Coast. Like, wait, what? Bro, we right next to New York, bro. We, we on Eastern time. How we Facts. Midwest, bro? Facts, bro. All right, man. We just smoking on some Skittles, by the way. Ooh, so that shit. that's what's going to have you rambling in a minute. <laughs> Wait, Probably. see what I'm saying? You got started some drama. All right. <laughs> Let's get to another question, bro. Yes, sir. Oh, man, hold on. We ain't get back to your wrestling. We got to get back oh, to that, too. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> man, yeah. So, my favorite wrestler was The Undertaker. Good, good segue, my dude. Yes, sir. The Undertaker was my favorite wrestler because, personally, I related to The Undertaker for Undertaker how he... Dope, yeah, he was dope. Legendary. He... And he evolved with the times. Oh yeah. And when I was going back, relevant. yeah, he stayed relevant. He didn't let one thing stop him or determine who he was. Even though we all had that in the back of our mind, that's the dead man. He could be, he could be the dead man in any type of character. And I saw that with you because, like, you went through phases in your life, like you said, with you was uh, looking up certain type of gods and mm -hmm. uh, doing the Egyptian stuff, bro. That's phases in life that people gotta kind of evolve with. Some people get stuck mm -hmm. in life and shit oh, to yeah. where they won't. They'll get a grumpy old man in 20 years yeah. talking about this music is shitty and all that stuff. You know what I mean? Definitely can't obsess over things. If things grow. Like hip hop is definitely, if we're talking about hip hop, hip hop things evolve. Mm -hmm. And it's in a different realm right now, but we we, we, we still pay homage. You know, yeah. that's the point. You know, it's always out here. Uh, the Undertaker, <laughs> definitely the dopest, man. I fucking love The Undertaker. <laughs> uh, my favorite wrestler, personally, yeah. have to give it to Rey Mysterio. Ray? 619, Respect. he's just out here. Respect. The freaking. Who's the that coming up the sky? Like, R-E-Y. Uh, Mysterio. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, bro, no. 
Ray was definitely ahead of the time. So exciting. Too. Yes, yes. Now he was always wearing a mask. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> on that, on that note, yes. Yes, he was way ahead of the time, bro. He was killing it with the mask, too, man. He mask had the different flavors crazy. every time, bro. Mask and crazy. Flavor. Every time. I know you remember the WrestleMania when he came out like Spider-Man. Dang, yes, man. Yes, man. Man, he got all the tributes, man. I remember. He came out like the Flash. He run the Royal Rumble, man. He run the Rumble. Heavyweight, come heavyweight on, title, bro. man. Oof. Hey, Ray Mysterio's up there. Hey. Heavyweight. Come, come on. Blue 175. Blue 175. Blue We're a heavyweight champion. And a Mexican, bro. That's During crazy, the time bro. when that shit was not cool. Right. That is crazy, man. Come Eddie on. had just passed. Rest in peace, Eddie. Man. But we was just talking about that yesterday. Rest in peace, Eddie Guerrero, man. That was my guy. Frog, man. Frog, Frog, Frog Splash, man. The original. That, oof, OG, OG. Anytime him and RVD fought, my nigga. Oh, my God. Boy, I was up with that shit like this. Boy. Shit. Boy. Boy. Everything, you know, the turnbuckle going crazy. That ain't working. I'm sorry. That ain't working. Bro, you know the tone broke is going crazy. Everybody, Jim Ross. Oh, right. my, oh God. my God. My God. <laughs> King just over here catching another oh, sexual man, assault. Oh, talking bro. about puppies and shit. Oh, man. Man, hey, Good wrestling times, was. Man, I love wrestling, man. Definitely, definitely Scott to exciting times. I ain't know you man. fuck wrestling like that, yeah, dog. Yeah, I do. I definitely. I fuck with MMA a little more okay. nowadays. I, definitely. Facts. I fuck with MMA a little more. We grew more up. To, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely evolved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely evolved. Yeah, yeah. But definitely evolved. Yeah, yeah. It 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 definitely evolved. No, I homage for sure. Got to, got, got to, man. It, it sculpted us. Just, so, let's let's just do this just to get this question out the way. Cause mm -hmm. I ain't even wrote it down. You brought it up. I'm gonna shut up. I told you <laughs> I could have. I could talk about wrestling Bro, all goddamn day. Keep calling, man. Bruh. Bro, where we go? <laughs> what was your favorite match of all time? <sighs> man. I had to go one of the Hell in the Cells, man. When they made the Hell in the Cells Undertaker ones, bro. <laughs> Those ones was crazy, bro. He popped out the ring, bro. He popped from under the ring, bro. I was like, Ooh, Bring him down. What? <laughs> Take him down to what? It didn't set him on fire. Ice, <laughs> that shit was just mind blowing as a kid, bro. I was like, man, I was tripped out. How they do that? Man. That was just, it's, I used to believe it was so real, too. So, Facts, you know. bro. <laughs> hey, hey. I didn't give a damn when I found out it, oh, it was no. fake. Uh -uh. Nope. I ended up Still going. I went the year after I found out it was fake. My mom took me two years in a row. I didn't give a goddamn, oh, yeah. bro. Nah, it's still it's so good. It was they, so good, It's still man. a sport, you know. They still got to put on the shows. They were great. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. were. They were. They were great. At, they were athletic af actors. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly. That's stuntmen. You watch a stuntman. You watch a stuntman, bro. More acting. Come That's on, crazy, bro. Damn. <laughs> That's hey crazy. man, y'all can judge us if y'all want. <laughs> I don't give a goddamn, bro. Wrestling, like I said, showed before. Yeah. I'm, I, I'm with another brethren <laughs> of the WWF life. We ain't right. seen no WWE. We everywhere, bro. We the everywhere, WWF bro. life, my G. <laughs> yes, sir. Back yeah. to the old school. Come man. on, yes, bro. Like as we look at the stadiums, but do you have a memorable Bengal or Reds moment that you could honestly say, yeah, bro? That you know what I mean? Yourself. My, yes, only myself. <laughs> I feel like, cause for the public, man, y'all be letting us down, bro. Y'all be letting us down. <laughs> but look, I'm not. I haven't been as much of a sports fan as I was, as I was when I was a kid. Like yeah. I, I'm really only into MMA now. Okay. But uh, the Reds, Ken Griffey Jr. But man, when he mm. was around, Ken Griffey was yes. that man, bro. Yes, sir. Hitting the homers. I, I was in the stadium as a kid watching it, yeah. man. Just beautiful to watch that, man. Yeah. Just expertise, yeah. so much skill. Gotta give a shout out to Chad Johnson. Ocho. Ocho Cinco, man. That guy. Ocho. Got the hands, man. He's doing things in life still. So Hell that's good yeah. to see, man. Hell People yeah. being successful after being smart with their money, man. That's all. Man, you gotta, you gotta do that, man. Fuck with Ocho, bro. He, he was just out here like last month, mm -hmm. down the way and shit. Mm -hmm. I saw. I saw Ocho Seiko for the first time in my life <laughs> at like three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Probably like 2 30, 3 o'clock in the morning. Just got finished doing some lifts, my nigga. That just got crazy. finished doing some lifts out in, in, in front of the in front of the Waffle House in Covington. <laughs> and uh guess oh, what? Be a waffle. Yeah, hilarious. yeah. And guess what he doing? Guess what he doing? He's smoking hella cigars with his homies. <laughs> and I, I promise you, bro, I just finished doing like four hours That's of crazy. lift. And I'm like dead tired. Oh, I gotta take a piss. Pulled over at the Waffle House. Chad out there just smoking the cigars with his homies. <laughs> I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Got the piss walk like. You got you say what's up, bro? Nigga, is that Chad? Yeah. What's up? Oh, yeah, what's up? I'm like, hey, bro. I'll be right back. Like, I gotta take that piss, bro. <laughs> right. I took that piss, like, right, bro. came crazy, back. He's still out there smoking the doogies and shit like yeah, that. Hey, bro, I'm gonna get a video with him. Got the video in there and everything. It's on the original little video that I hooked up with this that shit. That is crazy, man. Ocho's a cool up, motherfucker. Yeah, bro. I'm sure he is, man. You, you, you can just tell, bro. You can. 
you know how to read people, you can you can tell, bro. Hell yeah, yeah, <laughs> bro. You got a link? Oh yeah, okay. I, I'm over at Party Five. Either <laughs> you know, I brought mine bro. and dropped that bitch. Oh between yeah, these cars. Have, oh yep, and you know how that is. You man. know how that, that shit like that, bro. bro. So, these motherfuckers be tight squeeze. Man, you gotta bro. find like some type of tool or something. <laughs> Coat hanger. <laughs> I apologize, bro. This is the wife you call me. You just gonna let her know I'm in the interview. Yes, sir. All good. Hey, baby girl. Back rolling, man. And my dog is rolling up a nice one. I ain't gonna lie, this shit smells great from here. Some more Skittles, last of the Skittles. My goodness, I'm gonna have that sweet tooth. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like that? <laughs> you know, man. I'll be trying, like I said, man, uh, to, to, to show a different side of the person. Now that I know that you, like I said, multitasking, talented, multifaceted, and shit like that, the, the guy behind the camera. Now, what was your most sketchiest moment because i've asked the this is funny you're legit the third in a, uh interview where it's been a, a actual photographer mm -hmm. what was the most sketchiest place that you had for a shot you know what i mean what was the oh, place man. that you was like god damn so i got two top of my head one was with junebug and ko okay <laughs> uh, for one of the junebug videos i did um we were out in off of Redding Road, okay. some abandoned buildings, bro. We were like, can we get up there? Like, it was like, bro, if we can get up there, let's do it, man. I was like, let's do it for the shots, right? It was like, yeah, for the shots. So we got up there, man. It was so sketchy looking over our shoulders. Like, <laughs> felt like a horror story in there. I don't know where we was at, man. But another one just like that, I shot recently for my homie Don Odyssey, going to come out soon, okay. called Growth. Okay. Uh, we were down skating on another place off of Redding Road, uh, shooting some film. This guy, we were just shooting outside his, it happened to be his building. We didn't know it was his building at the time. Yeah. He was also a skater. That was the only reason he talked to us. We had our skateboards on us. Okay. And he was like, hey, I see you guys filming out here, shooting pictures. Uh, I own this building. You guys will help us carry some things out here. You know, things just be synchronized, man. Yeah. We helped him carry some things. He let us shoot in the building and stuff. Sketchy building, man. They had the pool down. <laughs> elevator, bro. You had to pull yourself That's up. Lit. I haven't seen that so long, bro. That's so old school. Damn, I so ain't never seen gonna be that. on the film. Yes, okay. sir. It's a, it's a nice little building, man. Shout out to, I think his name was Jason. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shout out to, hey, hey maybe Jason. <laughs> right, might, might be Jason. Might be Jason. <laughs> you know you are, though. Hell you watching. Yeah. So. Hell yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, good dude. time, bro. Sketchy, but... You gotta get the shot. Gotta man. get the shot. You got to make sense for the last one. I feel like we got the tape recorded. Yeah. In like December, man. It's been making sense since then. It's been four months, bro. <laughs> Trying to get this shit right. Fucking love my job. <laughs> It sounds oh, like basketball, you. man. I love basketball. Let's get to it. For the culture, man. For so, just the culture alone, man. Cream through the bar. Black Panthers and Crane, the NBA, man. It started as a white man's sport. Thanks. Shout out to the culture taking okay. it over. <laughs> we gonna own it now. You get smart now. Yeah. We gonna own it. Yeah. It's dope. We got to. It's dope. It's like 75% niggas mm -hmm. in the motherfucker. Playing it. We, we run the fucking mm. own that shit. Yeah. Man. We do it. We're what the people are watching, you know? That's what they come there for. You know? I, I really see ownership for sure in the future, like in the next 10 years. Do you know everything changes in eight to 10 years? Mm -hmm. So I feel like- People get hip now, that's yeah, the thing. Yeah. It started as us getting our foot in the door because they didn't even want us playing. Come on it. now. So shout out Bill Russell doing what he did. That's why I'm like, hey, no, no bullshit. It's, um, the old seven Celtics for sure, just because, and Bill Russell is the reason why I'm a Celtics fan. Mm -hmm. Like I love that motherfucker, man. He's mm -hmm. the real GOAT. My favorite, just for this single fact alone, he wore, a gold chain in the NBA. Come on, bro. Kareem with Doja Bar. Okay, man. then. That's crazy. Okay, Who wouldn't then. a gold chain in the NBA, bro? Not at that time. <laughs> Nowhere. Not at that Nowhere. time. Nowhere. Nobody. <laughs> Them motherfuckers are wearing so socks up to their knees. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Headband as thick as hell. Mm hmm. Kareem was fresh. <laughs> Balling. Putting up 
90 points. <laughs> nah, facts, bro. Yes, what sir. Was the, so who, who we at today in today's world? Is, we appreciate the OGs. Mm -hmm. Now for today's time, I ain't been really watching that much NBA. I wrote Arch a little bit later in the season now. Mm -hmm. just for my I usually only watch highlights. Like I said, I'm not shit. too much into the sport. Type shit. I definitely appreciate what it stands for, you know? Yeah. That's why you got to respect it. Who your top three favorite NBA ballers ever? Ever. Ever. I already said his name, Kareem. Okay, that's one. Gotta give him for that single fact alone. He goaded in my head. Okay. <laughs> um, you gotta respect. <laughs> what Michael Jordan did. Okay. Nah, he did. He did that. He did that. That was, that was that legacy. Was that's legacy. Basketball is Jordan. Jordan is basketball. Yes. Like God is love, love is God. <laughs> Legacy. So you can't you can't talk about basketball and not mention again, Michael Jordan. Respect to the game. <laughs> right. Um I have to give another personal favorite. Kyrie. Kyrie Irving is called. For his political stances bro, I was just alone. Go ahead, bro. Yo, yeah, we we're definitely gonna be in the smoke session with I gotta get you on the pod, bro. Oh first oh I would love to do that. I get you. For his political stances alone and his handles, man. Crazy. Uncle 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 Drew? Uncle Drew out here with mixed taking ankles? Hey man, no lie. <laughs> Uncle Drew Deadass is a magician. When I saw him do what he did to Indiana. <laughs> Two, three years ago, my birthday, dog. It was like when he was still playing Boston or some shit like that. His last year playing, I think. You can't Boston. sleep on his handles, man. He is out here, wizard Mother. with the handles, man. I was literally, and he came back. I, I'm, I'm gonna send you that shit, bro. I promise you, we was down bad. We was down like eight points in like four minutes in the game. Celtics came back off a of, job, uh, off a of, uh, scary Terry Steele dunk. <laughs> Motherfucking Indiana fans, Terry sick Rose. as hell. Yeah, mm -hmm. man. But yeah, Kyrie was just over there, uh, 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 mixing everybody up. Yeah, man. You can't. You just can't. It's hard to guard him. Jay Smooth, I got to give props. My man, shout out to Jamal Crawford. Okay. His oh, handles yeah. also, man. He also, he in an all-time scoring right he now. He has like, to be, bro. They got to get him back in. He, I think he's undrafted currently still. They playing games with him, bro. Yeah, bro. Because they uh, stop playing with him. He know what he worth. That's why they playing games exactly. with him. Exactly. Mm-hmm. They need to stop playing What's with respect him, on his name, bro. That motherfucker dead ass been a best six man of all time, in my opinion, for shit. He knows his role. Mm hmm mm hmm He ain't in no goddamn NBA team. These NBA teams got hella names on there that I don't know their name anymore. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, they trying the youngins. I appreciate them getting the youngest. And since we talking about NBA, they need to put my boy, my cousin, Trayvon, in the league. Your cousin is Trayvon? He played for for UC, Trayvon Scott. Okay. He just graduated from there. He was in the G League recently. Uh, okay. Jada and Jaden, also my cousins, are also are playing for UC right now. Okay. The Scots. Look out for the Scots, man. They coming in the league. Okay. <laughs> what do you think? So you think like how they've been saying we need to keep, I personally think we need to keep politics and sports just because it's bringing a different light to these, to these motherfuckers that don't want to hear. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you got people, you got, you're gonna have power. Like, we live through this. People gonna voice their opinion regardless, you know? Facts. Like, if they don't do it one way, they're gonna do it another. So, you're gonna hear our voice <laughs> with whatever medium we're doing. You're gonna have to hear it. So, I think this should, it's always gonna be ingrained, you know? It's not, it's, it's no way to really separate it. I'm all in on that. I'm all in on this shit. I'm getting higher and higher by the second to think about. <laughs> What will it take for the 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 racist white man? Because it's not every white person mm -hmm. out here. Not at all. No, no, no. I put that out there. No. You know, but what is gonna take for people to understand? White. You know that <laughs> exactly. I just like look at stuff like we can't we can't spill ignorance if it if it if it's never gonna get settled. Ignorance is the reason why this shit's even that's happening. What, that's exactly because they teach their children that. So you have to you have to get them out of young as well. You have to teach the children, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah bro. It's a way to be more open-minded because a lot of these people just don't look at the other side. That's why I said earlier, look at both sides of things because mm -hmm. it's a they have their stance and it's not justified at all. Nah. But you just have to tell them from where you're from, bro. Yeah. I can tell you because I've I've seen it before. But a lot of these people you don't you can't trust them either. So oh my <laughs> God. look out for that. 
if you go do anything, uh, this is one thing I say. This is for business in the in my state. Cause it just happened to somebody that I know. You go do anything business when it comes to those. Go ahead mm -hmm. and have have stuff in contract for yourself. Mm -hmm. yes, you know sir. what I'm saying? I'm actually all over myself over here. If you have, <laughs> <laughs> if you have stuff in contract, then you'll be so much better with everything. If you don't, that's why I, that's why I left my last job, bro. They kept trying to play me. That was I had manager experience already. Now twice at two different jobs. Yeah, and they was trying to play me like I was gonna get to manager role, and then they was talking to these other little kids. Little little kids, I'm mm -hmm. I'm young, but I have the experience. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, it's on paper. It's, you can call the people, you can talk to them. How I work, my work ethic. These corporations don't care about you. <laughs> These people don't care about you. <laughs> get your own. When you got your time off, make sure you get another bread. Multiple sources of income, man. You gotta have it, bro. Thank you. Again. <laughs> no, seriously, because. This ain't gonna be no, I ain't gonna keep telling motherfuckers that. Yeah, yeah, it's so funny. You telling that shit is legit, it's, it's confirmation. I've been telling like a lot of other motherfuckers the same thing. They they gonna hear it one way or another, bro. Mm -hmm. So I appreciate that, man. Yes, yeah, sir. Now, they, they gonna find out, exactly. You gonna hear it one way, you gonna find out one way. Come on, bro. What would be some type of advice if you have any? For people that want to take up the ventures that you already are, I say mastering at at your humble age of 23, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, soon to 24. Okay. Um, more or less. Don't doubt yourself, man. Don't put in the hours, yourself. man. Cause I definitely put in my 10,000 hours with everything, man. That's what they say it takes to master a skill. Yeah. Everything I'm doing, I'm getting there with mixing and mastering right now. My songs. Okay. You gotta put in the hours, man. That's the only way you get the product. Okay. And you will appreciate yourself, the work you put in, and it will pay off. Hard work always pays off, man. That's the advice I got. In your vision, then I'm gone, been invisible. In the midst where I belong, feel invincible. Gone, glitch you out, the song inexplicable. K and KO kill the beat, life lessons on repeat. Ear to the street, no fear where I sleep. Are we, are we witnessing a stoner moment right now? We are. Okay, stoner moment, stoner moment. Yeah. Back in the whip for the first ever stoner moment. Yeah. And uh, Silver right here reporting live in downtown, leaving downtown Cincinnati. But KJ Hetty, and I think he has actually just recovered his stoner moment. Like, was it? Was it Oh, well, we just did the definitely another stoner <laughs> moment, but it's all good. It's all good. Fuck them. We know we out here. Fuck them. You feel me? We roll smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck them. You know what I'm saying? The stoner moment took place about 35 seconds ago where my man legit lost his top of his grinder, but he found that shit. Yes. He We're found covered. that bitch. And we rolling. At this point, we are still rolling. Uh, you know, you could change anything if there was to happen in your life so far. What would it be? Or what would that be? That's a real high question. I just knew you just had to come up with it. You're good, bro. It's a good question. It's definitely a thinker. Um, it's things I would change for my people. Okay. I, I don't think it's anything I would change for myself because it all has molded me to be the way I am, to have the mindset that I do. And it's just, it's a matter of time for most things. Um, I wouldn't change a thing for myself personally. For my people, I would, there's a couple of things I would have to take back. I have some people in the penitentiary. That's a whole nother story. Yeah. About that system. New slaves. Boy. Preach. So. Preach. That's a good question. One thing that. I noticed about you, bro, and I, I, I noticed it in your music, and I was not expecting anything less. And majority of your questions, you're very conscious, and what you honestly, it's not, it's not no bullshit. You, you're very conscious of what you say. You're conscious of what you think, because a lot of people, they kind of like. I'm sorry to say, I'm, I'm, I'm telling them myself, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm just the, I don't even think you're saying it right there, but that's not always good. 
Mm -hmm. That's not always good, but you what your mind full for is to know that you you know who the fuck you are. I'm just gonna say it, bro. You you don't let the bullshit get you. You you're not easy to get bullshitted, bro. <laughs> you grew up on MTV News, so the, the shit that was coming out here today, hell nah, bro. Nah. And that's why I appreciate it when I listened to your music. I was expecting, yeah. I was just, you know, what I'm saying, you always and, expect the truth from the man. Yeah, exactly. But, and I, I know when to give it. That's why I had to I had to learn. It's not. It's, it's been a process. You have right. to learn when to give the truth. Because <laughs> some people can't handle it. You can't handle the truth. Hey, but you go and get it in my music, in my videos, anything, any of my art forms. Oh, yes. Yes. For for everyone to know where they can follow you at, just because we're still driving and shit like that, we're going to post yes, that stuff. Where can they follow you at on all your social media sites? <laughs> Appreciate you, man. So, we got uh, at k.jahudi on Instagram and at kjahudi, no dot. On Twitter and K Jahudi anywhere. Google K Jahudi, K dot Jahudi space anywhere. You can find and find a link to anything you want for whatever medium you listen to. And shout out to my my channel. There's a lot of work being done here. I would love to talk to you more about it another day. Also, and I'm really gonna get an interview. Cause That's cool. <laughs> we can get an interview for sure. <laughs> yes, hey. sir. I respect what you do. Thank you, bro. Uh, at Swain Section on everything, no space. S W A N K S E C T A T I O N. Swain Section. Yes, sir. And Jahudi, sorry, for people that can't spell that. J E H U C I. I know people having trouble spelling that. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll be like, is it Joe? 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 Jo oh, bro, <laughs> oh no. man, I've heard, the, I've heard the funniest things, but uh, we're going to roll with it anyway. Hey, hey, kids, message. Did you notice? how easier it is for people to know who you are easier to find you if you have a unique name <laughs> yes it is very easy as long as you spell it <laughs> and it's not x's capital x lowercase x you know gamer tag stuff this is a message <laughs> to all the, the future mamas out here too because I'm, I'm letting this shit be i'm tired of this shit I'm tired of these girls naming their babies this fucking bullshit, bro. And I feel like the younger the mamas get, the more bullshit these names become. So, like, my man's legit said his name. Bro, can you also, because I'm fried. I, I remember what you said, but just for the standpoint of the show, can mm -hmm. you remind the people, what does your actual name stand for or mean? Writing. Come on, man. Teaching. Come on, man. Uh, My real name is Kenneth. It stands for my actual abbreviations KJ everyone's called me KJ since I was a kid <coughs> and I'm a junior but we keep we, we always out here with the truth and writing man we, we, we never we never with the bullshit we don't have step any any of my people we not have step bro we this, coming this ain't no yellow journalism you bro. feel me no sir anything we say it we doing it we I always cooking this bro. shit bro hey and then, what, what's new, man? What can we be expecting that from you coming up? Swank section and all that, bro. I also, I appreciate giving you a kudos to that, too, but I appreciate you, uh, you know what I'm saying, quarterbacking that, bringing that together. That was real dope. Like yes, you, sir, I appreciate uh, it. That's you. what I put the shows under as well. Swank section is going to be that. We got a couple more things. Um, we got we got shows. We got show coming. I got hosts. Okay. I'm, I'm trying to be as hands-off as possible. I'm only behind the camera for that. Okay. We're gonna have some interviews. You're gonna be one of the first, bro. Okay. I would love to be on that motherfucker. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. We got you. Just uh, let me know when. That's happening 2021. We already started filming. We just getting the back end work for the studio set up. Okay. Um got the album, my first album definitely coming. It's about 70% of the way done. We just got done with the mixing, me and my boy Don Odyssey. Okay. Uh we're about on the max mastering. We're gonna look for some voice samples and stuff Go like around. that. Let's throw it in. Cincinnati. <laughs> uh, throw in some voice samples and stuff like that. We dig in right now. And I'm dropping my solo, my first solo this year. Got to. Okay. Yes, sir. I already got a couple of them stacked. Got some crazy collabs on that too. Do we have so a look name? Out for that. Do you have a name for it? I can name drop. Yeah. I mean, I got, I got a Jada Mani collab. She's from California. That's from. That's the girl I had over here performing. I got a Grim Doza beat. That might be a solo. Might do a video for that. That's an underground artist. 
My underground people really know him. He's been doing his thing for a long time. Okay. Shout out Grim. Uh, those are two good, good ones right now. I got a lot of great local artists. I really want y'all to listen to. When, if they on my tape, listen to them, bro. Listen, <laughs> listen to their discography, man. They they real. They legit. So check them out. Check out this man's stuff. <laughs> He's killing it out here. Just try it, bro. Hey, man. I mean, it's so funny. Oh, wait. Oh, you good? I, I just, I'm saying it's just so funny. Like, I honestly, I say it every time, bro. I just be blessed to be able to get motherfuckers like, yeah, let's do this, man. Like, it be like, literally. Oh, yeah. I'm, I was excited to do this, man. I, I was. Uh, yeah, calm my nerves. Hell yeah, <laughs> Meditated bro. before I came on the show, bro. Yeah. Do some meditation. Oh, yeah, for That's sure. just great for you. That's mandatory, man. <laughs> it has to happen, man. People have to understand your mental health mm -hmm. is um, it's, it's voluntary to your life, man. It ain't no bullshit. It ain't a hashtag. It's, it, not, it's not a wave. It ain't it's a wave. Look it up. It's, it's a way of life, for years, man. for long, it's cultures for, for as far back as time goes. Have been Facts. Taken, so. What trips me out, too, about it, it works. Because, mm -hmm. bro, I promise you, man, you, like... I, I, people that know me, man, like back, like bro, I was like one of the most angriest kids growing that's up and shit like that. Anger you know, nigga, going that, with the anger management and shit. Met, bro, come on, Gavin, bro. anger management kids. Yes, sir. <laughs> so it's like, you know, you know that life. I ain't even gotta go that deep, but it's for the fact that that and this right here. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it real with you. That helped out and a whole lot of other stuff. Like smoke so much, smoke so much, bro. <laughs> and then, like you said earlier, you said life experiences too. We ain't gotta go that deep into it, mm -hmm. but like I said, like. I already know that shit. All that kind of shit right there definitely makes you want to be way more better than you were at that deep you point in your life. For not only yourself, but for your people, man. You Hell know, yeah. Got to, so. Hell That's what yeah, we out here bro. doing, man. I appreciate you making time, it work. Sculpted, man. Hell yeah. I appreciate yeah. you and your time, for sure. <laughs> this was another episode of uh, Silver Rise. We get on post up. Some spine on I've been smoking like them away. I needed this in the biggest way. Right from the pavement, I skipped the lane. Life on the bank, and I picked the brain all of the center bank. Like I could throw in the set it in. Life on the go, like I'm seraphim. I'm a need for when I'm settled in. All that I needed was range. I did a prime with the cream of my time. Chief of the week, if it reaped, then I'm fine. Let me get a picture of my nigga. On video. You know what I'm saying? Turn the head up like an old head. This is a lit ass studio. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Do you, you charge people for studio time? Yes, I've been trying to book you. Hey, man. I'm a full time artist right now. Look, yes. look at this studio, man. This this, this is actually legit. I'm, I'm going on show some promo real quick. I'm gonna have sure, a state of the art mic. You feel me? That's a real studio mic right here. The room is soundproof, my nigga. Like, yeah, it's soundproof. Studio is intact. Everything's intact. You feel me? You got everything you need for a studio, man. Hit my man's up. I'm gonna put all that in the in the bio. You feel me? Already, bro.